Right, welcome back. Yes, indeed, uh, Mr. Pascal Dubo joins us here today. Good morning, and thank you for coming on today. Thank you. So, just having a feel of some of these policies of government, and if you the kind of sense or impression you get as to direction where we are headed. I mean, yes, one of the most recent one is this tariff, electricity tariff hike. Um, several responses to that one. The president, uh, time and again, always says, look, yes, I, I did ask for this job. Don't, don't pity me about it. We'll get inflation figures now. You know, all of those uh, words seeming to assure people, now he's calling for unity. We need to rally Nigerians as much as possible. But for you, just observing all of that, how does it come across to you? Um, they're struggling. <laughs> they're struggling. Um, and it's understandable. Yeah, and it's understandable. And normally, between politics and governance, there is a transition. Mm -hmm. um, the challenge you are notice, what you're noticing is maybe the transition period is, is dragging, you know, because of the hype of the politics. The politics was, this is, um, these are magicians, <laughs> that they will be able, whatever they touch, turns to gold. And, um, um, and of course, when you're watching a play theatrics, if, if the magician doesn't pull the wand early enough, they, they, there's a rumble in the crowd. <laughs> Are we watching the right, but, the right movie? However, having said that, yeah, I think um, um, if the president looks at his team again, which I am getting the feedback that he he wants to look at again, there are certain of some of his ministers. He needs to shake hand and said, you know, it was nice doing business with you, but you know what? I need to increase my pace a little bit. Like we will find you something else. But the mood of the nation is that um, there, there are things that need to be done. Mm. There are some so, ministers that you, I don't even think they understand the feel. There is one ministry, um, Blue Economy that came out with so much zero. I was so excited about it because I've known about it. Oh, you lost your excitement? <laughs> no, of course, I don't know. No, no. if, if by now, if they are still doing similar <laughs> to understand the depth and the height of the ministry. No, 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 no. no. Because I would, I've, I've, I've listened to one guy, the former MD of um, Nimasa, Jam, one Jamu guy, right? He had, had some end-to-end so -end documentation you know, on what this blue economy is all about, you know. Mm. And I've, I've, but, I've known some guys who have, so I was expecting that yeah. that would have been a, a poster boy ministry. So the thing is this, um, I don't know how much, I'm not sure the country knows, uh, <laughs> has a lot of details in terms of what's going on behind the scenes, because some will get the inkling that um, it appears as though they did not understand the gravity of what they were going to be dealing with this government. And so when they got in there and saw what was in there, you have to try and, because when you say the mad the want, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that want may not necessarily be a want per se, because mm -hmm. you have to understand what are you going to be wielding your want against? So it appears as though it was really deep. And so trying to understand, to figure yourself out before you make the kind of impact you want may be a factor. Politicians are like that. Oh. They are more interested in power. They are more interested in the rank like, than getting the work done. Very few of them, very, very few politicians have what I'll call a why. I've said it several times here. Very few of them understand the why. What do you classify what this they one? Do, all this they're government. doing is what and how. Considering this government says, I asked for this job. Yeah. I'm not no, like very, other people very, who, very, it just yeah. happened on Nigerians. Yeah. He said he asked and he prepared. So shouldn't we judge him or assess him differently based on his narrative, his words? I know, I know that we have had reason to criticize uh, the current president when he said uh, uh, the Emilio count thinking, which is, is my turn, all right? There wasn't really any particularly, particularly uh, um, um, sovereign altruistic purpose mm -hmm. for seeking, it's, look, listen, guy, this is my turn. You don't give it to me. I know that. But, you know, that pride should be able to make him say, listen, I'm not going to, I'm going I'm to do well. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm hoping that the president will be challenged by that, Pride, that pride. He comes back to his room, looks his wife in the face, looks at his core team and says, guys, we can't afford to fail. So, and that's why I'm looking at the optics of his 
people who are working with him. That's, that's how I always measure leadership. Who is working with you? I'm, con I'm too concerned that he's, he's, he has what I would call, there's a lot of um, good thing within his team. He needs to break it deliberately. There is too much of his... Where, where are you saying that? What would you say is most evident? No, group think, and maybe I should explain what group think is. When group think is, you now, I'm, 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 if you're a Yoruba person or Igbo person, your driver is, your driver is Igbo, your secretary is Igbo, everything about you is Igbo. You're going to be, you're going to be shielded from the realities of the rest. That's what's going to happen. You create what they call an intim, uh, group, uh, 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 intim. That intim have a sense of a, a sense of entitlement. Listen, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. We know, meanwhile, they may have a bl my, we have blind spots. But I, and I know you, that I, I'm, I'm coming, and then you naturally create an out team. That out team will be no matter what you do, they will never agree that it's doing well. So the only way to get it done is to break it down, collapse the middle wall of partition. And when you are able to look at the other people, they see things from different perspectives, then you see solutions. When England was going through a challenge, they picked a Canadian mm -hmm. to, be the C to be the Central exchequer. Bank. That's how it works. You're looking for solutionists, not for, no, not for, your, not for your, not your tribesmen. I was just so that's my say, concern. Exactly. I was just going to say that tribesmen don't only come in ethnic... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely fashion. correct. I know that group thing doesn't apply to just, tribes you know, them, tribes, yeah, tri yeah. to thinking, uh, beg your pardon, to people of the same ethnic group mm -hmm. as you are. Mm -hmm. It also applies to people who think the like same you. way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I know that that's one of the mm -hmm. accusations against, uh, you know, social media uh, feeds, especially how algorithms work, that mm -hmm. they tend to put people in a cocoon. And, mm -hmm. you know, people who think like you are the people you get fed by. Anyways, away from that, I was just wondering where you felt that that was most evident. I mean, where this, this group think, which, you, which is... Okay, I can explain a little bit more for you. All the people that are working with him are people he has worked with in the past. Okay. Most of the people that are working with him are people that he is used to. He's more comfortable with them. So there, there wouldn't really be any, any challenging thoughts. And it's those challenging thoughts that bring solutions. Check any time. Any time you see innovation, it is because somebody has said, listen, I know this is the route we normally take. Can we please take this route? Most times those who ask that, who ask that alternate, what they call alternate thinking, mm -hmm. are those that are not used to the old route. So it's, it's good for you. It's good for the system. I believe very strongly that he may turn out to be one of the best president of her because of what I'm just saying. If, if he collapses it, and brings in a whole lot of people that he doesn't know, but as specialists, this job can be done. It's been done. Countries have gone below the mark before. They came out of it. You know, they roll up their, their, their guys and have a focus. You must have a vision before you develop a strategy. Then you develop a business model. Then you develop action plans. And then it's built around people. What do you then say That's to my argument. people I can say... see the global picture mm -hmm. of the where we are. Hey, Nigeria, where are you headed? What do you so what we are seeing are policies, 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 policies. Yeah. And so people are arguing because they can't see, if they see the big picture, okay, maybe this thing will help. Look mm. at the electricity stuff. Okay. If you want well, power people to invest in electricity in Nigeria, you will need to give cost-reflective uh, 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 cost tariffs. Mm -hmm. You need to. They won't invest so if we, they don't we, have that. We, we will come to goes. electricity shortly. Yeah. And, and some people will say, if the minister were listening to you, he'll say, well, you're making our point. We're making the point that if people are not going to be able to pay the right price for electricity, then it's not going to get served. But let me come back uh, to you know the argument you make about groupthink and the people that he's worked with okay. before. Mm -hmm. Some people will say it's because I have worked with somebody before that I will realize whether or not this person will be a great fit for the job that I'm looking at ahead or the job that I have at hand. From what you've seen so far, if you were to look at say what is happening at the CBN, would you really say that you know he hasn't put a round peg in a round hole? No, no, you know, when I, mentioned, when I, when I make that comment, mm -hmm. I wasn't looking at individuals and their capacities and their competences. I'm looking at the holistics, all right? Um, it is too early to judge what CBN is doing, whether the results will come. Because what they are doing is producing immediate results. This is, you need, you need stability for investors to look your way. 
And that stability is measured over time. So you are not going to, you, you, people are going to watch and see this, this dollar that is dropping, whether it is induced first or it is organic, before they will take decisions. And so um, I'm expecting that he is aware. It's not he's, he's an old war, so he should be able to understand that. You know, so I am not going to give, uh, I'm not gonna, I, I am still watching with my eye very screened to see where uh, the, the, the early signs and signals are good. At least the temperature is coming down a little bit. However, it is not getting to the market. We can't see this, and that's my concern. We can't see the commensurate impact on... What kind of impact is that? The commensurate impact on food inflation, on various other things yeah, that... And he just did the part on building materials. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the point I'm making here is that... Um, um, uh, uh, keep, and I go back to vision. Someone must be painting the picture of Nigeria in another four years to Nigerians. Nigerians are not seeing it. There must be somebody in this team whose job is to keep, no matter the whole of the low, guys, hey, look at where we're headed. It's called tone at the top. It's called the picture at the top. So anytime people are getting confused, say, hey, but you know, guys, if we go through this, this is where we are, what they call light at the end of the tunnel. And that must be matched with what you do as a cop, as a, as, as, as a, as a government. A couple, couple of the signs are coming in, but please, they, they, they may have to be sustainable. So I'm looking forward. We are beginning to pray for him because we are beginning to see that Yes, the success of this administration is tantamount to the success of Nigeria. The failure of this administration, you, you know, the last eight years was a reverse gear. Apart from one or two infrastructure that they did, which of course was a continuation from the Jonathan administration, those, that guy, you know, needs to be interrogated. Which is nothing wrong. I mean, governments can continue with projects. That's why it's supposed to be. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm only saying that. One of the reasons why you change governments through election or whatever it is mm -hmm. well, uh, for leadership is a leader brings change. That's I'm not really bothered much about lifting this subsidy that he's doing. That's what that's the change Tinubu wants to bring. Mm -hmm. To him, I said it here severally, to a, a carpenter, every problem is a nail and a hammer. He is a physical person. He's taking away these policies, but he now needs to tell Nigeria, listen. If you survive this, if we all go through this together, yeah. this is the light at the end of the tunnel. Are you? Mm -hmm. The question, thank you, Chamberlain. The question then is, how do you see that happening? Because one of the challenges that I think needs to be surmounted is that of collaboration, particularly with states. It's only the president's voice or the presidency or the federal government to whom everyone in Nigeria is looking. How about the state governors? I, the, I've come back to that same point again. How about the collaboration that ought to be happening with the states? Do you see that happening? Do you see anything in that direction that there is some kind of collaboration happening with the state governments? Because that is where the people live. And that is where the shoe pinches. Let me put it this way. And I think, th thank you very much for your question because Nigeria is a, is a federation, all right? And um, what that means is that the state, um, are the federating units of a, of, a, of a sovereign, which is Nigeria. What Nigeria does, or the federal government does, is to set this framework. I was hearing feelers about federal government coming to say they are going to be paying salaries for, for state government. You know, I don't know how those kind of conversations you know, seep into mainstream conversations in our nation. The, the state governments, the governors, you know, I just saw one. We were just doing somebody, some, this state governor of Bantu State, we were just doing Doba. You know, the whole place is gathered, people are gathered there. You know, uh, you, sometimes you sit down and you wonder um, uh, what, 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 were the, what were the reasons why some of the people became governors in the first instance. You know, they're battling between being, being uh, spiritual lords or, 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 or monarchs than being uh, the governors or gov governors of their states. There is nobody, no governor that does not have something in his state. But because of the pool of the center, this monthly feeding bottle. And that's why when people are saying, let's restructure Nigeria, 
Some people misunderstand it to mean that we're going to separate. It's not. It just means that you need to get the state governments to get empowered, to be able to take on responsibilities. And I, I, I to just to, to, to cap on what you're saying, there must be some pressure. I mean, there was a guy who was telling us once in a seminar that every time, if you want to notice when the dollar goes up, it is always when the FAC account has been has been dis, has been distributed, say, which means these guys okay. these guys break this thing down and 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 and, and you, you know, FCC will be chasing small small fries. Meanwhile, the people that have the the bucket of of who are creating the ripple in the in the ocean, mm -hmm. you know, it's been overloaded. So I think there must be something that puts pressure on the state government to deliver, and you know who does that? The elites. Mm. If, you, if you don't mind me butting in, pressure. yeah, my, my apologies for butting in. You said we should put pressure. The question is how? Who is monitoring? Who is uh, monitoring to ensure that the needful is done? I mean, I've heard that as well. And uh, one of the arguments some people will come up with is that, look, it's not the governors that come to Abuja to collect the facts. It's their commissioners for finance and all of that. Whether it's them that change the dollars, that's another thing altogether. But the question is, how do we put pressure on the state governors or the state governments in order to ensure that they do the needful and collaborate with the federal government so that the, the, the stage, as you say, that the, the federal government says, the states also find a way to align themselves to it. Or is it a problem of proper communication with the federal, between the federal government and the states? Yeah, let me put it this way. And maybe this will, this will, this will be for another, another day, but I'll give you an idea. Every time you have an election, that's when, that's the, 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 that's the conveyor belt of who becomes the governor in all the states. They, you can you cannot get in someone right. that has done crazy things and cut and get there and expect. Look at what is going on in Abia State, which, so, which is an so, example that we always like to. That is the point I'm making. If if the if the institutions work, yeah. there are certain people that are not supposed to be governors. Okay, they have become so, governors and of course they unleash their colors. Leopards never change their sports. And I think so. The, if at the election point, mm. the elite in various states, I was trying to call all the various states in yeah. Kogi, in Imo State, in Anambra State, they don't stay in Lagos or Abuja. They go back and ensure that whoever comes up as their leader mm -hmm. there could as well be come to be one you of the best. Well, in the days ahead, I think we're going to have to have a conversation about some of these examples that are there and the reasons why states are inexcusable if yeah, they cannot totally. replicate the same things in those states. So, because he says three years, states, it takes them three years to have that kind of power solution in those states. So you can imagine if states have that solution in this country. What are we talking about? And just, just well, before you close the email, I want to yeah. chip in this. We are looking at some physical measures that will allow states, look at people who are shouting before, oh, railways, mm -hmm. oh, concurrent list, oh, this. All of a sudden, uh, at the twilight of Buhari, all, most of those things we are, we are signed up, yeah. and the president has the concord. How many states now, mm -hmm. the, knowing that it takes at least three or to four years to be able to put in uh, an IPP, have yeah. started something in that regard now? Big question. So it, it behoves on all of us to ask those questions of state governors, the presidents, across board. Because, I mean, we all pay the taxes, not what. At least, if you do, <laughs> you can ask questions. <laughs> well, Mr. Pascal Udibo, thank you very much for coming. And always a pleasure. But you know what? We always like to hear from the people uh, because most times they take the brunt of all of this. And incidentally, uh, one of the viewers said his daughter was watching Sunrise Daily and said, Oh, look, there, there are three things that yeah, you can get from this. So we got that. He sent us that video. Have a look. So there are three benefits of watching Chinese TV. Number one, you can get, you can read newspapers for free. Number two, you can get daily information every day. Number three, you can learn important things and learn how to speak right diction. Thank you. Oh dear, he's talking about you can read paper for free, you can get, well, yeah, I mean, we like to catch them young, don't we? Indeed. Okay, so uh, there are some other messages coming through, some of your emails about electricity tariff. I know, you can't have enough of that. Well, this one, the first one comes from uh, Ogundoju Temitaya, who says, there should be check and balancing over this new tariff, as well as supply of power. 
When people recharge and the power is not available, how do they get the desired value paid for having parted with their money? Well, just before I read the next one, I'll just say, Daddy, please, can you also send the name of the young lady? I mean, it would be really oh. lovely to have her or host her one of these days. I mean, certainly. Well, but look at this one now. Electricity supply crisis. Looking at uh, this is mail from Charles Abu says, I am Asase. Okay, I'm looking at the name now. I don't think I can pronounce it. I don't know if it's the name of a place, but it says yeah. Owode Local Government. Um, area of Ogun State. It says it's entitled to four hours of power a day. In February 2024, I had power twice. One of those days was not up to 20 minutes. In March, I had power on three days. Cumulatively, in March, my power was about 12 hours. Mm. This is April the 10th. There's been no blink of light. How do we get water? Manage petty traders have a fair quality of life. You know, actually, when I asked you at the mm -hmm. beginning of this program that yeah. if band A customers are complaining, you have to ask what is happening to the other bands. Seriously, yeah. we really do sympathize with you, uh, Mr. Charles Abu. Well, some people are already asking whether or not they actually belong to band F, which, of course, we know doesn't exist. And by the way, those names are Malquea, Ashe She, and Orimerumu. Uh, both in Ogun State. To Dixon's comment here today, it's a, it's a mail. So what exactly is the core agenda of the renewed hope mantra of President Tinubu? To make the rich poor and to impoverish the poor further? The same way they deceived us that fuel subsidy only benefits the rich is the same theory with the unexisting electricity subsidy. Can the past administrations and the power and finance ministry tell us how much they paid for electricity subsidy, if any? While I live and work in the so-called Band A, my staff in Band B have the same complaints about the new electricity tariff, which they can't cope with. In all these heavy burdens and impoverishment, we've not seen any decisive government actions on fixing the power sector, nor any major infrastructure. Is it all about taxing the citizens to death to have more money to be shared to themselves in power? Nigeria is bleeding and NLC and TUC are only concerned about wage awards and palliatives to their members. That's from Dixon in Abuja. It's okay. Like a from him, Chimbling. Oh, Dixon, don't worry. Just, just, just hold on. We'll have some other <laughs> items, but we'll hear you. I mean, you know, we we'll always love to hear from you. So at the beginning of the program, we did ask you to name the place. How well do you know your environment? Do you just speed pass, get into the car, you're driving straight to work, tunnel vision kind of person, or even if you're a passenger in the vehicle. Here is what we're asking you, where is this location in Abuja, for residents of Abuja, or even if you've been to Abuja and you know the place and then you move to a plateau, uh, you move to any other state, it could be Kano, Abia, Lagos, wherever. So, yeah, we, we didn't reveal everything at the initial stage, uh, but much later, we now said, um, yeah, so let's give you a longer version of where this location is. Because, I mean, of course, you have a lot of people who thought they know where the place is. So there you go. Uh, quite a number of people were trying to let us know where the place is. And so you could see the feedback coming through. So let's see if we could see a closer shot here. So that's... Uh, where it is, uh, Balogunsa is the rail line leading to airports. He is on X. And then uh, Kayo Ideh says, I guess it's only for FCT Abuja resident, maybe Kubwa. Nice try. Yeah, another person had already said Kubwa too. Mm -hmm. I see this one from uh, Mark Partizan says, this is Day Day, Guagua Idu rail line of the Abuja metro line. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mark Dashwa says, that rail track should be along Bwari Road. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll hear you. <laughs> we'll see if you get it right. How about Aliyu? Aliyu says it's uh, Idu Kubwa Railroad. Mm. Okay. Uh, Philip says, that location is a community on your way from Idu train station to Kubwa. That's an email from Philip. And I also see, well, is that the answer we put at the bottom already? Yeah, just keep one, because you can mm -hmm. see that Kukwaba one. Yeah. 
Yeah, but the, 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 the question is back. the location now. Where is that? They'll, they'll reveal, yeah. Okay, the main place is the Harun Rijana area. The rail be begins from Regatta, Dutse, and down to Rijana Abuja Light Rail area. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, this is Idu to Kubwa. That's Shagumakinde, Ayo's friend. <laughs> Abuja Railroad. <laughs> okay? Oh, well, quite a lot of responses. Oh, this is from Babalala. Instagram now. Yeah, That is real from Day Day Market running towards Carmo to the mm. airport in mm -hmm. Abuja. Okay. I think the hill says, yeah, that the hill yeah. around there so, also gives you a uh, high. Exactly. So it was that location specifically we wanted to see. So now let's have a look at those of you who got it right. So, so that's the challenge now. What no, do no. we do? No, 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 no. I, I, I protest on behalf of the viewers. Uh, no, no, no. That was... Don't worry. Is Next the money going to remain I in have pockets? your back. I promise, me, I promise you. They're not going okay, to give... She has your back. Views. Yes. I have your back. They're not going to give this sort of cute... Quiz again because I mean, come on, I'm a resident here in Abuja. I would have felt that. <laughs> no, 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 no. A quiz. Ask mm -hmm. Professor Loyede. A jam. quiz a must quiz. have quiz. <laughs> no, even Professor Loyede will say that's an unfair quiz. Along what road is this Kukwaba? Let me ask you. But Wait. you saw the sign on top, Kukwaba 1. Kukwa, where, where is, is that? Look at it. They, they where is that? Along, is it along the airport road? Is it yeah. along Dede Kukwaba Road? Them, where, where, where is Kukwaba? Where is this? Place? Guys, that, that's the question. Can, can, can you that's just you know Google it? Can you, can you <laughs> just Google they it? Share, there has to be other... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what do you do but now? But I, I dare do suspect, we... I dare say, and this is me still, as a resident of Abuja, I'm still going to be guessing that it's along the airport road. And the only thing that has given that away for me are the hills around this particular station. Okay, so what we'll do is um, we'll find the find a way as uh, um, Mr. Dubo said, break the middle wall of partition. So maybe <laughs> what we'll do, we'll find some, maybe the umpires, the, the judges behind the scene can find the middle ground, I see. Somebody's got to win Somebody's this Somebody's got to win, come on. Uh -uh. It's not a long airport road. So, it's not a, where is it? Is it hanging in Abuja sky? So here's what we'll do. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, just make sure you're, you're set by 9 a.m. Maybe something might happen at that point. Maybe not. We don't know. But we'll see what the judges decide. And we'll come to you with that. But we can see the timestamp. When everybody send their, it's all there. So if you're able to reply early, so be. But we thank you all for watching. We love you all. So we hope you enjoy your day today. We'll see you again tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain, so goodbye. Well, I will always have your back. Thank you so much for watching. I've had great fun <laughs> giving Chamberlain grief this morning. The <laughs> bag contains money. When she has your bag, B A G. No, that bag contains back. money. Back. It's bag I had. B A G. B -A -G. <laughs> okay. Well, I just <laughs> hope. <laughs> I just hope, uh, Chamberlain and Bakwe, that after you have declared the results, someone will not say, I'm going to go to court to appeal this one. In the meantime, have a wonderful <laughs> rest of your day. I'm Ayo Makide.